I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Article 20, Good Works. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. short. Our churches teach vehemently that salvation is by grace alone, received by faith alone from Scripture alone. That good works cannot save you. That does not mean that the Lutheran Church is against good works. In fact, by teaching that faith alone saves, we teach the only way to do good works, by faith alone. Only in the faith of Jesus does good works flow, like a good tree bears good fruit. Only in the faith of Jesus can the first and second commandments be kept. The, ta- the commandments of the first table, can we love God with our whole heart and love our neighbors ourselves? By teaching the faith of Jesus, by teaching salvation by grace through faith, do we, do we give comfort to troubled consciences who, have, who were taught in the Reformation, before the Reformation, about their works, and not real works, but saints' days and 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 masses and and indulgences and the like, not real works. We'll get to that today. Um, only only with the consolation of the gospel do we see that with Jesus alone saving us, then good works follow for the for for those who who believe this. And faith for the Christian is not knowledge of history. I'm okay. I know Jesus came on Christmas and he lived his life for me and he died. I'm good. I'm good. Faith apprehends the effect of history. Notice, it's not just that there was a Jesus and that he died or even that he rose. It's that that Jesus, who died and rose again, who was born of the Virgin, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried, was born of the Virgin, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried for me. And that that holy life counts for my not holy life. And that his bitter sufferings and death is the only punishment that I'll ever receive from God. You see, with that gospel, are we liberated to do good works in the particular place and time where the Lord has put us? Not climbing steps in Rome or um, cutting ourselves or whipping ourselves, but true good works in faith for those around us. Because love happens where the neighbor is. Your faith is lived out in loving service of those around you because Because it's not an accident that God put them there. He put them there so that in your singing forth the praises of the one who brought you out of darkness into his glorious light, you would lift them up and you would care for them. Well, how would we know what works to do? The law. The law tells us. But the law doesn't tell us what to do to merit favor with God. We already have the favor of God. The law tells us what we, for the one hand, don't have to do, but also do have to do for God. Um, for those around us. God doesn't need our good works in the sense that Jesus is the only good work that is necessary for our salvation. But our neighbor, those around us, our family, our friends, they could use some Advent cheer this season. And so our churches not only don't prohibit good works, but the gospel itself liberates the Christian to do good works They must do good works in the faith of Jesus. They cannot help but do good works, which God prepares in advance that they should walk in them, that should live in them for others. True faith produces good works. That faith saves, not the works. The works are the fruit of the faith that Jesus has has wrought in us by his holy life and his bitter sufferings and death. I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this has been another Higher Things video short.